How's it going? Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. Let's get this week started. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. It's Monday morning, so I'm gonna try to do another one of these vlog styles. I got my heat treat oven to work on. Actually, my KMG grinder uh, was starting to have problems, but I think I got that fixed, so I might work on that one a little bit. But uh, yeah, let me start by saying this knife is up for sale. If you didn't see in the live stream, it's up on my website. I've got a few other knives up there. This knife is up for sale too. Bam. Shirts are available on the website. The link to the website and Amazon and all that is down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. All right, let's get to the heat treat oven. I'll show you what's going on. All right, so in this mess, I've been fixing up this heat treat oven. Last night, well, this rope came in yesterday on a Sunday even, that's what I love about Amazon. But this rope was too thick and it's got like a middle rope. So I cut the pieces and I took the middle rope out. And this is the stuff I had before, but you can see around here. But it wasn't padding out. So what I did is I bought some fiberboard. This was like 26 bucks for, uh, what was it? I think it was one foot by one foot. So I cut it down and I've shaved it to fit in there perfect. And then last night, I glued the rope on and wherever there were spots right up against this. So now I want to get this onto here. And what I think I can do is I've got some double-sided tape. Oh, <laughs> you might wonder what this is too. This, my friends, is my second heat treat oven. The bricks came in today. I want to make it six inch by six inch by 13. So it'll be two bricks high. And then you can see this is going to be the bottom, which means six. it's probably like 6.5. So then I'll have the four elements come in. So I got to glue this up and glue this up. And then I'm going to cut these bricks down to six inches, which there'll be three on the bottom to make the 13 inches. So that'll give like three inches, a little under three inches left. And then I can stack two up like this and glue the little pieces on for the uh, door and for the back. Now I bought 12 bricks, but I ended up needing two more. And uh, I wish I would have calculated it better because those two bricks cost like 30 bucks. And I got all 12 on eBay. Well, it was at 90 bucks at first and then they gave me 20 bucks because I think they messed up shipping. So 70 bucks for 12 and then 36 bucks for two. So you want to try to buy them in bulk and search around. They have to be K23 bricks, insulating bricks. But that's what this is going to look like, you know. And what I want to do here, because this gets up to 1500 pretty good, but it's so big, it takes a lot of energy. So I figured a smaller one. And also what I can do is if you, if you go on the data sheets for stainless steel, it'll say, uh, preheat to 1500 and then make it to 1950 which I think that means so you leave it in this oven for like 1550 or whatever when this gets up to 1900 you take it out of 1550 and you throw it into 1900 that way your stainless steel isn't shocked when you put it in 1950 and also you don't have to sit there and let it soak the whole time this oven's trying to get up the heat plus a smaller oven I can do more the possibilities are endless so this should be a fun build. Now I'll, I'll be bringing it along. It's probably going to take a few weeks, maybe a month. I'm waiting for the elements and you know, I'm just going to take my time on this. But this one, so back to this. This is double sided tape. I was trying to figure out how I can get this fiber board to stick so I can get this door marked out correctly. I think the only way is to take some double sided tape and see if it works. Now, honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. In theory, it should. I don't see why it wouldn't. But there's always possibilities and always reasons things don't work. 
Like you get too much stuff on it. <laughs> oh, let me clean my hands off here. How ironic. Need a tool, make a tool. Yep. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I need a heat treat oven, so. I might have to go to the store and buy some better double-sided tape. Hold on. I think I have some other stuff. Let me see. And that's the problem with these bricks. They're so flaky that... I just might have to get like a lower grade, like a masking tape. Ooh, you know what? Let me try that. And do like we did back in elementary school. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Let's see if that works. All I need to do is get it on there. So... Oh. No, it's pulling away. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the smart thing would have just put to put the blue tape down first. Alright. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Are you liking these vlogs watching my process? <laughs> Seeing how I think and these solutions? <laughs> They're probably thinking, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> but this is how I figure things out. A lot of times I just cut out most of the part. Here we go. Trial number one. Let's make sure this ain't stuck in there too much. Come on, baby. <gasps> Oh, it worked! It worked! It worked! Ha 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 Yeah! Woohoo! It worked! Oh man! Ha <laughs> ha! Let me get a pen to draw that out. I don't want that falling off. Ha 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 Woo! Alright! Now we got our lines. We can take it right off. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> if you notice, I have this habit of throwing things on the floor. I'm going to use this stuff I got for uh, this rope. It says up to 2,000 degrees. fits in see it fits pretty perfect it was my, my fat head was probably in the way so it fits in perfect and if it doesn't close all the way we can always tune it up and trim a little bit off but man haha <laughs> yeah man if that doesn't seal all my leaks I don't know what will Whew. <laughs> yeah see we're gonna have to trim some of that off all right, task number one taken care of. All right, so let's take this and we'll get them all together, clamped up, let it set, and then we'll do the other one too. So this is just one wall and then that's the other wall. Looks so small compared to my other oven. <laughs>
All right, one down, one to go. Now that we figured out how to do it with the one, the second one shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I, I, I did uh, masonry work for a couple years, but I never laid the brick. I just carried them damn things, made my forearms like Popeye. <laughs> I got good at it too. I can pick up two whole things of brick and run it from one end of the house to the other end for both guys. And then I'd go down and mix the whole thing of cement. I didn't have the mixer. I had a big pile of sand and a big pile of cement and I and gravel in the middle and I had to mix it all together. Or no, no gravel. That's cement. Sorry. This was brick, uh, brick mortar. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, uh, it was like what? Nine shovels of sand to one part lye to one part whatever the other mix is and put it in a bucket and stir it up and then run the bricks over so you can see we're good as long as the bottom is straight i don't really care about the top you know and the other one uh, let's make sure this is yep yeah, that's good yeah whoop yeah okay that's all I care about all of, the door is straight which I'm gonna put this as the door you know facing out and all that all right two more brick or three more bricks <laughs> it's like working in bathrooms running caulking except you just run one bead and then pull it out. <laughs> this you have to fill in all the gaps. I've done just about every, uh, I've done just about every construction job there is. The history of Dave. <laughs> I was a carpenter most of those years, but when people didn't show up or didn't do their job right, and you have to fire them. You have to compensate and learn how to do their job real quick. Because the job has to be done either way. And if you get someone that doesn't know what they're doing, that's going to re reflect poorly on you. So that's when you step up and do their job for them. I've done it with tile. Uh, let me see. Done with a few things actually. Plumbing. But I was a plumber's helper for a while, so. Let there be oven walls! <laughs> da -da -da -da. Alright, let me clean my tools off and wash my hands and uh Go edit this vlog for you guys. Alright, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. The next video should be back to some knife making. I actually got some bad news, but I'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. My links are down below. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, take it easy.